I recently saw everyone tweeting about their Twitch 2020 recap and showing off their awesome, ridiculous numbers of how many followers they got. So then I got all excited to look at mine and, um, well, I opened mine up and, uh... What's up, guys? Welcome back to a new vlog. We are out and about right now along the river, getting outdoors, getting some fresh air. I really am trying to prioritize my health a lot more this year by getting more sleep, getting outside more, not only for my physical health, but my mental health, because I really feel like it will cross over into resulting in me being a better gamer and an entertainer as a streamer. So that's what we're doing right now, we're out and about. I've been really struggling lately with what to even vlog about because I did mention a few vlogs back that I am shifting my focus into more gaming and vlogs and a little less on the whole tutorial and tech stuff. Not that I'm giving that stuff up at all, I'm just doing a little less of that and focusing more on the gaming and the vlog stuff. So I've been really trying to figure out how I best want to transition my channel into that style of content and I just haven't known what to vlog about, so I've kind of been in a creative block, if you will, for the last couple of months. But I think I'm starting to get past it, and I think it's time that we just start pushing forward with what we want to do. So let's head on home and let me show you guys what I've been doing for the last month. As a streamer and content creator, I think it's really important to be proud of the work that you do and to have some confidence in yourself but that doesn't mean that you should be overly confident to a point that you think that you're just better than everyone. I think you really need to take a step back sometimes and really analyze your work and be hypercritical of it. I remember when I was about nine months into making YouTube videos and I just wasn't getting any views, but I was so confident that I was making good quality content. And I remember just sitting there night after night so confused about why I just wasn't getting any views on any of my videos. And it really wasn't until I decided to take a step back and kind of shatter my own ego and just take a really hard look at myself and my content and admit to myself, maybe I'm not getting views because maybe my content really isn't that good yet. And it really wasn't until I did that that I realized that I had a long ways to go in terms of stepping up the quality of my content before I started to see any sort of legitimate growth. And now fast forward to today, I feel like I was just recently at that exact same spot with my Twitch channel. If I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, what I've mainly been focusing on over these last couple of months really is getting good at Apex Legends. And I know this sounds a little weird seeing as how I have a YouTube channel and a Twitch channel that I'm trying to grow, so why am I spending all my time playing video games? And the truth is of something that I mentioned a few months back in a separate vlog, but my dream vision of what I want to see myself as is a gamer first who also happens to be an entertaining streamer and someone who makes awesome, entertaining YouTube videos, but at the core of what I want to be, I want to be known as a gamer. So that means I should probably be good at the games that I play, and right now that is Apex Legends. And this year, a main goal of mine for Apex that I wanna do is that I want to hit Predator, even if it's just for a second, and that means being in the top 500 players in a given ranked season, and because Apex really is a team-based game, that means you're going to have to pair up with some other people to push to that high of a rank, which means I'm going to have to start reaching out into the Apex community and really making some connections and making friends if I want to have any sort of chance to become a predator in this game. So essentially what this all means is that I'm going to have to find ways to break through in the Apex community and start making real connections with people. But in order to do that, I need to be a, at my core, a good Apex player. But that also kind of comes full circle at that point because on top of being a good Apex player, I need to have a large enough stream in the first place, which means I really need to step up 
my game on Twitch as well. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, when I saw everyone tweeting out about their 2020 Twitch recap with all these amazing numbers of all the followers everyone gained, I was so incredibly excited to see mine and see the progress that I had made over the last year. And then, uh, then I opened mine up and these were the numbers and, uh, really, really not happy about this. Now, I honestly don't think it is a good thing to be constantly comparing yourself to others, but I think doing it every once in a while is actually a good thing. So for me, when I was first looking at my numbers, I was really upset about what I saw and I was just really disappointed in myself. But after a couple minutes, it kind of clicked that maybe I should look at these numbers and use it as a lesson and learn from it. When it comes to analytics of any sort, whether it be on your YouTube channel or your Twitch channel, numbers don't equate to your worth, but what numbers tell you is more of a story of what is going on with your channel. Now for me, my Twitch recap really does tell a story of how last year on my Twitch channel, I really made the same mistake that I did originally the year before that on my YouTube channel of being complacent and thinking that my content was better than it actually was. For most of last year over on Twitch, I really just kind of repeated the same content over and over, thinking it was more than good enough and I wasn't really improving that much and my Twitch recap numbers truly do reflect that. Luckily though, I feel like I kind of already recognized a few months back that I had plateaued in the quality of my streams, and seeing this Twitch recap just kind of reconfirmed it though. Since then, I have been really working on stepping up the quality of my streams, and my most recent analytics show that we're actually starting to get the ball rolling. And so outside of just wanting to become a better gamer and also a more entertaining streamer on Twitch, really what I want to try and focus on this year specifically is to really find that thing that makes me break through. And I think Harris Heller actually talked about this perfectly in one of his most recent videos. He recently did a Q&A over on his YouTube channel where he was talking about where he believes that anyone can break through on a social media platform if you can stand out in two to three very unique ways that makes you completely different from the rest of the crowd. This time next year, when I'm looking at my 2021 Twitch recap, I want to take a look at some numbers that I'm truly proud of. And I genuinely believe that in order for me to have numbers that I'm proud of, I'm going to have to significantly set my game up on my Twitch channel. And yes, that means I'm going to have to continue to work on being a better gamer and an entertainer, but I think more importantly, this is the year where I'm really going to have to figure out what makes me unique and stand out from the rest of Twitch. I think the key to anyone's success on a platform is having the fundamentals down, but then adding on top of that of something that just really makes you unique. And so I think for me of what makes me unique is finding ways to combine all of the things that I love, like making cinematic videos, awesome storytelling through things like vlogs and gaming and tech and somehow seeing if I can merge all of these aspects together and present it in a way on my live streams. I'm not sure exactly what that looks like yet and it's gonna take a while to figure that out, but that kind of makes me excited to go through this journey over the next year to play around a bunch and just see what works. So I hope this vlog helps inspire you guys to take a look at your own work to see what you can do to improve upon it and stay in a growth mindset. And hopefully by following along my journey, it will help make it feel like you have someone else that is going through the exact same hard times as you in your own journey. So you have someone to relate to. If you're not following me over on Twitch already, be sure to go follow so you can see this journey in action. And with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.